we're about to put all of these on my lips. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do another lip swatch video today. And today, oh, please say a prayer for my lips. I have all of the shades of the NYX Smooth Whip Lip Creams, and we are going to put them on my lips. So these are NYX's first ever vegan lip creams. So they're supposed to be a matte lipstick that's slow whipped with shea butter and cocoa butter. So that sounds like it's going to be really nice on my lips. And we also have some really fun colors. And the shtick with these is supposed to apply like a liquid lipstick, but then feel like a bullet lipstick. So like super nice and creamy on your lips. It's supposed to feel comfortable. You're supposed to be able to layer it throughout the day and it's not supposed to like feel cakey or like chunky on your lips. And it's supposed to have a lip hugging lip wand, which yeah, I mean, it looks like it's gonna hug my lips. It's the same on both sides. It's not angled to one side. It looks good. So. Let's put these on my lips. So right off the bat, I feel like the main difference between these guys and the soft matte lip creams is these ones focus on shea butter and cocoa butter where the soft matte lip creams had vitamin A and I believe vitamin E. I might be mistaken saying vitamin E. That might have been the lip lingerie, but I was a trainer for NYX for two years in Toronto. So I kind of, I kind of really know my, my NYX lip products. As always, I try to swatch lipsticks in numerical order. Sometimes it goes from a gradient as well from lightest to darkest. In this case, it doesn't. It's kind of all over the place, but this is number one pancake stacks oh they smell like soft matte lip creams maybe like a little bit a little bit different maybe more like fruity okay right off the hop i can tell a huge difference between these and the soft matte lip creams these are so buttery and so smooth and so opaque the soft matte lip creams because there's an oil in it it almost feels like you have to constantly go over your lips to get a full opacity this is like one swipe just like butter so that's 01 pancake stacks number two is called kitty belly do you see this opacity it's crazy <laughs> I mean it does look like a kitty belly doesn't it that's so cute the name is just like oh that's everything to me this is no next we have o3 latte foam and this looks like it's such a beautiful color like ugh. also opening all these lipsticks fresh is so satisfying oh my god oh my god i love this color ah it's a little darker than i thought it was going to be but it's it's giving me life Next is 04 Teddy Fluff. These names are so cute. I just like, I can't. Oh, that one's pretty too. Oh, it's like more of a brown, but like such like a pretty nude if you had a deeper skin tone. Like, oh, 05 is called Parfait. This is such like a pretty unique color. Oh, I love that. It makes my teeth look so white. Oh. Oh, six is called faux fur. I would definitely describe this as like a brick brown. Very, very yellowy, bricky orange. I can't get over how smooth they feel on the lips. It's like, you guys, like, for real, for real, they're actually, like, very, like, plush. We are a quarter of the way there, and I'm trying to make it short and sweet so you guys don't have to watch a 24-minute video. Okay, so this is 07 Push and Cushion. What a fun name. <laughs> Okay, you know that saying like everyone has an opinion or whatever? That's like with this lipstick. Is this lipstick so super flattering on me? No, but I'm sure on someone it would look so cute. Like if you had like a sun kiss, like olive skin tone, this would look amazing on you. <laughs> this one's called 08 Fuzzy Slippers. I love these names. Well, that's a 
fun little punchy color. This like reminds me of like a fruit punch kind of thing. A very like perfect fall shape. This is 09 Birthday Frosting. <laughs> I want birthday frosting. Oh my god, my birthday soon. Well, it's in June. Let's not get crazy. Wow, that is a purple. That is a fuchsia purple. It's so messy. You know, I'm putting 24 lipsticks on my mouth. I can't have everything be perfect. Next up, we have number 10, Pillow Fight. And she looks pink. Oh, girl, that is a hot neon fuchsia if I ever saw one. It is so bright. I don't even know if it's doing it justice. You know how things like don't look like how it is on camera? <sighs> oh, oh, she's bright. <gasps> Hi, kiddo. <gasps> look who came and joined us today, boy. Come on, why are you camera shy? Oh, you want to go on my back? Okay, yeah, all right. You want to go on the back of the chair? Where are you? Boy. Boy, I love you. No, I love you. Go there. This is number 11 called Berry Bed Sheets. Okay, so this one I'm finding a little difficult to get super opaque on my lips. Keep in mind, I do have very light lips and I did put foundation over my lips, but I mean, it's a pretty, pretty color, but you can see that it's kind of thin in some areas. We have our first red, which is number 12 called Icing on Top. Okay, I lied. This is definitely an orange. And I'm kind of living for this color right now. I kind of like it. She's bright. She's punchy. I love it. We're halfway there. Number 13 we have is Cherry Cream. And this looks like it's going to be more of a red. Uh, you know when someone says like I just want a classic red lip like no mess no fuss This is what they are talking about. This is such a beautiful shade. Oh, I love that. I love me in a red lip number 14 is velvet robe I love this color it is so unique and so pretty it's like that perfect like fall shade like for October 3rd you know oh oh my goodness you guys this is so pretty number 15 she's a dark one she's called chocolate mousse Wow, okay, that is opaque. That is so pretty. <gasps> oh, I love this. I just feel like when I wear a dark lip, it just makes my eyes look so blue. The moment has finally come, the moment we've all been waiting for. This is number 16, Feelings. <gasps> I can't wait. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I have nothing to say about this. Just look at me. I love it. Okay, we'll say one thing. If we're bringing back the, like the green lipstick, I'm here for it. Oh my god, you could just see boy having a bath. <laughs> 
Okay, well, removing it definitely gives like hypothermia vibes. Have no fear. I used to be a lifeguard for six years. I know exactly what to do in this type of situation. We'll just put another lipstick on. So this is number 17, Thread Count. This might be my favorite out of all of them. This is like a gothic nude. I love this so much. <sighs> Delicious. Oh, my lips look like they've been through it. Okay, so this is number 18, onesie funsy. Okay, no wonder this is called onesie funsy because that's definitely like a fun color. Not like my like top pick, but it's fun, right? This is number 19 called Snuggle Sash. Is like a purple like the Pantone color of the year or something? There's a lot of like purple shades in the range. This is like borderline a pastel, like almost. This is shade 20 and it is called Pom Pom. I can't get over how cute these names are. These, cute, these names are so cute. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, this one definitely is the brightest crayon in the box. She's a bright girl and my teeth don't look very white, but there you go. There's pom pom. I'm so excited for this one too. Okay. So this is 21 blanky and it is a blue bitch. Wearing a blue lipstick will always remind me of when I was in makeup school because I would like never put makeup on. I would just put like mascara, bronzer, and then a blue lip. Like one of the macaron lipsticks by NYX. This just like takes me back. And I'm, I'm, I'm an ally with the blue lipstick wearers, okay? I love this. Oh, the blue didn't stain as bad as the green. I just, I, I do have purple lips right now. This is number 22 and it's called Cheeks, which is so cute, just like all of them. Oh girl, I don't know about this. Coming off of that blue lipstick and that green lipstick when my lips were out. <laughs> it's a great nude. It just has a lot of yellow and that's not great for me. But gorgeous on someone with a deeper skin tone. This is 23 Laundry Day. It's actually Laundry Day yesterday for me. Mm, I love this shade. I love, love, love it. It almost has like a slight like brown undertone to it. And it just, I feel like it's a more of a flattering nude than the one we just put on me. You guys, this is the last one. This is number 24, Memory Foam. I'm not gonna lie, my lips are on fire. Ooh, that is a pretty brown. Oh, I really like this one too. They have a lot of good browns in this range. A lot of purples, a lot of browns. <laughs> it almost has like a gray tone to it. And I think that's what I really like about that. Okay guys, that is all 24 of these lip shades. My lips are literally on fire right now. I'm gonna be fine, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.